good afternoon or good night um or good middle of the night i don't know where the fuck you are but welcome to my channel or welcome back uh my name is millie what in the world is going on how are you guys doing hope you guys are all having a lovely day as you all already know from the title i'm going to be doing my jewelry collection video today honestly i don't wear jewelry every day i don't own a lot of expensive or nice jewelry like everything nice that i've ever bought i've lost or i've had stolen I'm young, I'm 18, I gotta get through college, so buying luxury jewelry isn't really a priority for me right now. But you guys asked for a jewelry video and I do own a lot of jewelry, um, so I figured I would go through, I'd talk about some of my favorite pieces. A lot of the jewelry I do own is meaningful to me in some way. Um, I don't really buy jewelry for myself that often unless it's from the store I work at, so everything else is pretty much either a gift or has some sort of meaningful memory attached to it so i'm pretty excited to just sit down and share with you guys some of my favorite jewelry items hope you guys enjoy <laughs> Also, I didn't want to do this video for the longest time because if you haven't noticed by now, oh my god, I can't even show you guys. I have gross nails. I bite my nails. I've been biting them since I was like four. Yeah, so I don't have cute nails. Obviously, I can't go get my acrylics on. Y'all, if this bothers you, I won't be offended. Go check out another video. But yeah, they're so fucking stubby. But anyways, yeah. So this is me. It's time to get icy, bitches. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through and tell you guys what I'm wearing on my body because seems the most logical. So this necklace right here, uh, I got at Brandy a couple years ago. It's not quite a choker, um, and it's got these little hearts going all the way around it, so super cute. Right under that, I've got this um, like bedazzled cross necklace. And then this last one I got at Goodwill. I believe it was $3. It's a little tarnished. It's definitely like old and worn, but I kind of like jewelry that has a little character to it. It's just got a mermaid, um, what's the word? Mermaid charm at the bottom. I fucking love mermaids, so <laughs> I had to get this. Um, so yeah, those are the necklaces I'm wearing. The earrings I have in right now, I bought in California. I thought they were super cool because they're a hexagon, but they're also a hoop. So I don't know. I just thought they were cooler than like your basic hoop earring. Okay, and then on my fingers, I have this, um, I think this was my friend Jackie's that she left here. <laughs> Jackie or Haley left it here, um, and it's really cute. And then under it, I've got this little cross, uh, ring that's also from Brandy. Then on my ring finger, I've got this ring that my grandmother gave to me. Um, I believe this was her engagement ring, and it's gorgeous. I could probably use a cleaning, but I think it's so cool that this has been around for so many years, and now I have it. Um, and then right under that, I just have this little, like, single band ring from forever 21 and my nose oh my god i don't really want to do a nose close-up just got this little little silver hoop that i got from pandora wait no i didn't get it from pandora i got it from Pag pearson pagoda it's one of those like little mall stands and it was like 16 bucks or something hi guys what's up so i'm gonna go through my rings first i usually keep my rings in this little box that my boyfriend bought me for God, I can't remember if it was our anniversary from Tiffany. Bougie as fuck. And I love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I store my rings in here. Alright, so this first ring is super pretty. I don't know what the name of this stone is, but anyways, it's just got these four orange um, stones in it. Oh, fuck. I've got this tiny little diamond ring. It's like the tiniest little diamond, but this one's super cute and I usually wear it like stacked with a couple other rings, like so. I think I also found this one at either an antique store or a thrift store. I really love any turquoise jewelry. So pretty. And again, this was 
maybe a dollar or two. And it looks like it may have been hand welded, which is really cool. Here we've got my class ring, um, which I will never ever wear. But my mom went to the same high school as me and she has her class ring, so I had to get mine. This one is so cute. I got this little ring at an arts and crafts fair and it was handmade. This was another ring that my mom gave me. Honestly, I should know the names of the stones that I'm wearing, but if anyone knows, comment below. It's just this really pretty purple stone and then it may be a purple crystal or purple diamond. I don't know, but um, yeah, super pretty. Here, I've got a ring that I bought at Francesca's, just a little boutique in the mall, and they have some pretty cute jewelry. Um, I get gifts for my friends a lot of times from there. It's just got this mint green stone in it and then gold on the edges. This one's another ring from my grandma. I don't know if it's of any value. I don't know if this is a real diamond in the center or not, but still a pretty ring. Uh, definitely could use a cleaning. The last ring I own is this little heart ring that my stepdad bought me when he got married to my mom because I was the flower girl. I bought these earrings, I think after I graduated from eighth grade. They're so shiny. These ones are definitely like a statement, so they're kind of tough to wear, but still gorgeous. Forever 21, honestly, I love for jewelry that you're only gonna wear a couple times because look at these, they're so pretty and they were $4. This pair I got from Goodwill. If you're buying jewelry at Goodwill, obviously clean it beforehand, but I thought these were so cool. Um, again, they're like turquoise on the inside. These ones I got also from Forever 21. Uh, I bought these for St. Patrick's Day a couple years ago for some party. They just say lucky on them and they're green. So I'm not gonna go through all of my hoops because I have a ton, but um, these two are both from Brandy. I really feel like the trick with cheap jewelry is just to make sure you don't wear it in the shower um, or in the pool or the ocean. I've had this pair of hoops from Brandy for over six months now and I wear them pretty often and they're still in perfect condition. So yeah, as long as you just take care of them, they'll last. These hoops are also another one of my favorite pairs. So it looks like you've got multiple pairs of hoops, but it's all one earring. It's so cool. I want to say I got them at Lord & Taylor, but I don't know what brand they are. This pair I got at a consignment store in New York, and they really give me like that mod kind of vibe. Does anyone else know what I'm talking about? Like 60s era, and I don't know what time period they're from because obviously they were thrifted so there's no way to find out but like they're in perfect condition they're so shiny and these are definitely um stainless steel because they haven't tarnished at all i also have a bunch of little dangly kind of random jewelry items from brandy um like for example this pair has a key on them it's so cute here I've got another pair from Brandy and these ones just have a, like a little imprint of Mary on them. A pair of cherries and then here I've got this bedazzled heart and it's plated in gold. Fake gold, obviously. <laughs> right, I think I'm just gonna like show you guys the rest of the earrings with my hands because it's starting to feel weird taking all these earrings in and out of my ear holes. Another cute pair, I got these from Brandy a while ago. These ones I got again in California and they are chain linked um, little dangly earrings. These ones are also cool because they're kind of like a teardrop shape um, if you look closely. They're just a little different than your basic gold hoop, which I always like. This is another fun pair. They are just plated in gold in the back. I think it's an onyx stone, um, which is supposed to bring calmness. And this piece right here separates from the top. Moving on to necklaces, I'm gonna start with all my silver ones. I remember my mom bought me this necklace from J. Crew for one of my eighth grade photos, and it's 
stayed really really shiny all these years um so yeah i love this one um, this is from brandy this is one of their stainless steel items so it actually doesn't tarnish and it's lasted me well over a year at this point um little brandy promo here but i love this one as well um let me throw this one on right now this one's also super easy to put on because it clips just like a keychain almost yeah i love this necklace Shocker, another brandy necklace. Uh, this one is the safety pin choker. I honestly don't really wear this one much because it's a little bit too edgy for me, but it's still cute. So I found this one at Goodwill. It was three or four dollars and on the back it actually does say that it is sterling silver. This necklace, on the inside of it, there is an actual freshwater pearl. I don't want to try and open it right now, but there is a pearl inside and my boyfriend actually got me this one when he was in California. We had to get the pearl out and put it in this locket, so it was a really fun memory. Another memorable one, this was my graduation gift from Jackie. And girl, if you see this, I love you, I miss you. And it could also be a W for walrus, so that's cool. Next, another one from my boyfriend. Surprise, surprise, I think it was our one year anniversary but it may have also been valentine's day but yeah i remember when i first got this necklace i pulled it apart and i thought i broke it so yeah this one's so cute here i've got another thrifted necklace um again with this turquoise stone in the center super cute and was probably a couple bucks um, this is a necklace that my grandma bought me for my 17th birthday um it's from Fuck, I can never pronounce this. It's from Swavorsky. Swavorsky? Yeah, that's right. I never buy myself nice jewelry, so... I love this. Thanks, Nana, if you're watching this. Love you. This one's super special to me. Um, this one was from my boyfriend's mother for my graduation gift. Um, she's the sweetest woman ever. It's got my graduation date on it. And, oh, it's so sweet. I love this one, but I never wear it because I don't want to ruin it. Last but not least, for silver necklaces, I've got this brandy choker with a bunch of little angels dangling off of it. This necklace is so cute, but let me tell you, it is a bitch because it gets super tangled. And all these little guys love grabbing onto my other necklaces, so I have to be really careful with this one. But moving on to gold. Um, I've got this giant gold necklace. Got this back when chunky jewelry was like super popular. I can't remember what brand this is. I just feel like this is a little too in your face. I would never really wear this unless it was for a super special occasion. So I had to get the Brandy necklace also in gold. This plain gold chain is also from Brandy. Figured it was just a basic staple necklace that would layer really well with my other chains. This is another brandy necklace and it's just got the cutest little gold heart on it. Cutest little gold heart on it. So dainty, so pretty. This one is another little, just super simple gold necklace and the pendant on the bottom actually has a little Virgo symbol on it. I doubt you'll be able to see it. I don't know what's focusing and what's not. Then I've got another pendant necklace. Um, this one's from Brandy. Another Brandy necklace. Uh, this one's just got a mini lightning bolt on the bottom. This is another necklace that my boyfriend got me. It's got three pearls on the bottom. My last two gold necklaces are both from Brandy. What do you call these? Phrase necklaces? I don't know, but they've both just got little words on them. This one just says honey, and it's the same kind of style, just a gold lettering necklace. So yeah, that is officially all of the jewelry that I currently own. Thank you to everyone who bought me any of these pieces. Um, everyone who made it this far, thank you. You guys are the real ones. Um, thanks for being patient. Thanks for listening. If you guys have any cool jewelry places you want me to check out, comment them down below. Stay safe, stay clean, stay healthy, you guys. These are crazy times. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And... <sighs>